What do you think led to your Instagram taking off? Um, that was, I don't know, that was a strange course of events. I, it was probably just because I was doing all the stuff that a 18 year old kid would do if he just got handed a blank check, you know? So I think there's like some appeal to that. And um, I mean, obviously the hot chicks and all the toys and all the bullshit and all the stuff that I want to get. I don't know. I mean, it's like, it was a pretty interesting journey. I mean, but do you think, like, you were an early adapter or, or like, what? I mean, they, anything beyond the lifestyle or? I mean, I don't do know. There, there's just, like, not a lot of guys that have real money that can do that kind of stuff mm -hmm. um, because they got a family or they got kids or right. they just, like, don't want people to know about it. You know, like, there's all these guys in Silicon Valley that have, like, a billion dollars in the bank that are driving around in a Prius, you know, and living modestly and you know like that's just kind of like because with money comes a lot of like headaches you know everybody's like hitting you up everybody's got a great idea everybody's got a pitch and you don't know who your real friends are and it's hard to find you know girls that are there for the right reason i mean i get it you know what yeah. I, mean? I get what these guys do it it's just like for me i didn't i'm just gonna do all the stuff that i want to do <laughs> how, how do you determine what to post um well, I guess a piece of it is like, I try not to be repetitive. I like, try not to post the same shit. Um, I try and just like, I try and get candid stuff. I kind of like try and treat it like a doc, um, a diary, kind of like a documentary of what I'm doing. Like it, and it actually helps me because I'm just like, oh, like when did I go to Burning Man? I look at the Instagram, it's like, okay, I was there then, you know? Or like, when did I go to Bali? It's like, okay, that's when I went. When did I, when did I make the bet that I couldn't have sex with my ex-girlfriend for 600 grand for a year? You know, oh, I made it. Wait, on, go back to that one? <laughs> yeah, my buddy bet me 600,000. I, I couldn't go a year without having sex with my ex-girlfriend. She had like pissed him off, so he didn't like her. Uh -huh. And so this was like his way to like remove, remove her from my life. How often do you post something that you later have to take down? You know, rarely. I mean, I, I have before for sure. Um, but usually, like, before I post a picture, I'll always be like, okay, like, you know, you know, you want me to put this up? You know, right. you want to be tagged? You know, if they say they don't want me to put the picture up, like, I don't put the picture up. Yep. Like, I want to, you know, a lot of times, like, these girls have boyfriends or whatever. So, like, there's been tons of stuff that, you know, we've captured that we haven't posted. And um, uh, How about the most outrageous picture, in your opinion? over the years that's made it to your Instagram? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. There's one where I was like in the theater with a bunch of naked chicks, um, you know, post orgy. That was probably outrageous. Uh, so how did the picture happen? This is not like a regular thing, you know what I mean? But this is like what happened that night. I don't know. Okay. I mean, one of the things that I usually do is I create situations where I'm, you know, one of the few guys around. So it's kind of like, they want to get laid, I'm the guy. You know? I'm not like the, I'm not like the hit on girls guy. You know, I don't like, you know, I don't like, you know, I'm, I'm not like the guy that aggressively goes up and buys a bunch of drinks at the bar and tries to get him drunk and offers him trips around the world and tells him I'm going to date him. I don't do any of that shit. You know, so I, I just kind of set up my life to where, you know, girls that are into me come after me. And that to me is more appealing anyways, because for me, a big turn on is a girl that's into me. Because women have different attraction mechanisms. It's just for me, the appeal is that a girl's into me. So try and, you know, or, you know, last man standing, <laughs> that works too. <laughs> you know? um, what about going to Cannes made you realize how famous you'd become? Um, that, you know, it's funny, that was actually the, you know, that was the tipping point. I was over there and this was, I think 2014, kind of when it was starting to blow up, but I only had like 2 million followers at the time. It wasn't anything crazy. Um, and I just remember I was talking to Ron Perlman's manager came over and said, Hey, like, you know, Ron wanted to talk to you at a, you know, a movie project or whatever. And he came over and it was a cool project and we were talking and people kept coming up and asking for photos and, um, and I think part of it too was that like when when the first person comes up and they ask for a photo, then other people notice, right? So I think like it was a little bit skewed. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, it was still crazy over there, but this was like every 30 seconds, like somebody's coming up yeah. and like interrupting him and you know, like, hey, you know, can we have a picture? So, you know, kind of like yeah, I, you know, I was just like, wow, this is crazy. I'm like in a foreign country and all these people are asking to take a picture of me and I'm sitting next to a movie star. They're coming up and asking for pictures of me. I'm just like, what the f you know? Right. And I think he was like, what the f 
and there was like you know finally somebody came up and asked him for a picture and you know, he made a joke he's like oh like you want a picture of me sure you don't want a picture of me. and he was kidding he was a super cool guy yeah. but I, you know, I was like ready to say the same thing i was like this is so crazy you know and um you know, it's funny because the whole conversation we didn't even like mention it. it was like, you know, we were like focused on the thing and he never brought it up until then. But yeah, that was just the point when I was like, wow, this is like a real thing. Like I, I'm going to travel around the world and have people coming up and asking me for pictures now. What do you think of director Michael Bay? Um, I, I don't know. I, I never met the guy. Uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. He makes good movies. I mean, what's the, he was, uh bugging every oh, person yeah. you posted I, on I don't know Instagram. If he was bugging. I mean, he just like hit up a lot of the chicks that I posted. He, you know, he's just like an example of, you know, a guy who like, you know, clearly like followed my stuff. How do you find out about him contacting? The girls would just tell me. Yeah, they'd be like, like what do they say? Well, they'd just show me his DM and be like, hey, you know, this guy hit me up. Like this guy hits me up every time you post, or this guy's hit me up twice both times when you posted me. And I had like a few <laughs> girls say that, so I was like, okay, well, clearly there's a correlation here, you know. Unless he's just hitting up everybody. F I don't know. Maybe he might not even be running his own account. I don't know. You know, who knows? A lot of these, a lot of these guys have handlers. You know, they got guys that just hit up girls for him, so it might not even be him. I don't know.